ICU has a full tab with nothing but interface specific features. These are the switches that are specific to each interface. I'll give you an example. Let me go ahead and import the OPC interface. I haven't imported this yet, so I'll choose a new Windows interface from a batch file. Now We're going to be prompted to save because if you notice this little asterisk, it indicates that this ping interface has been changed but it hasn't been saved. So I'm, when I do this, I'll go ahead and save changes. And now I will open up this OPC interface. And, um, you know, I didn't realize that. I'm glad to see that this is there. It says uh, the OPC int 2 has already been imported. Uh, no, I don't want to create another instance of this. Well, I'm sorry. What I wanted to show is just simply how we move from one interface to another. And if the interface has already been imported, you can simply switch using this drop-down list. So here, this has now brought up the OPC interface. And on this OPC interface, we saw the same switches before. But then look at this. If we switch to OPC int, we get such a wide variety of things that need to be configured. Much, much more uh, variety of things than we saw in the ping interface. These are all those things that are specific to the different OPC servers out there. So, you know, as I said, there are lots of parameters made available by OPC and this is where we would configure those things. And by the way, one minor point is if you do import an OPC interface or any interface and, and its type has been set properly, okay, and for some reason when you click on the interface specific, I'm not going to save changes here, excuse me, if we click on the interface specific, if you don't see anything, if it's just a blank screen, that means you probably don't have the what's called the ICU control that goes with that interface. Now typically that should be inter installed with the interface itself, so if for some reason that's not there, you can either repair or reinstall that interface.